Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about this keyword in System Vlog classes. We will see what is this keyword, what is the need of this keyword, and the examples, everything in this session. To refer to the class properties, parameters, and methods of the current class instance, we use the this keyword. This keyword is used to refer to the class properties, parameters, and methods. Here I have highlighted the word current class instance because whenever whenever we are talking about this keyword, it refers only to the current class object. Okay, current class instance. So we'll see why we need this this keyword, right? So whenever the class properties and the arguments passed to the function are same, that time this compiler will does, compiler doesn't understand, right? Which variable is the class variable or which is the property of the class which is the argument so this ambiguity will be resolved by the keyword this here you will understand this keyword is used to resolve the ambiguity of the compiler when the properties of the class and the arguments passed to the methods are same in this example i have two variables two properties a and b and i have a function called set data here i have passed a and b so i am assigning this <coughs> passed uh, argument to the property a property b right so here the compiler gets confused on which is the class variable right both are same only how compiler will understand we are humans we can understand but how compiler will understand in order to resolve this here we will not get the error okay if you run this code you will not get the error but you will not get the desired value desired output so in order to avoid this ambiguity of the compiler we use the this keyword so this dot a equals to a this dot b equals to b uh, instead of a equals to a b equals to b so now what will happen compiler will understand okay this this dot a means this refers to the current class instance current class object property so this dot a is refers to the class packet variable a and this dot b refers to the class packet variable b and this normal a and b is refers to the arguments right so this is how it will resolve the ambiguity of the compiler when the class property and the arguments passed to the method are same so this is a predefined class handle referring to the object from which it is used okay this is a it is a predefined class handle like how the class is there how the semaphores how the mailbox these are all the predefined classes right similarly this is a predefined class handle okay referring to the object from which it is used where we have used the this keyword it belongs to that class only okay it refers to the current class instance and the this keyword is a way of keeping the search within the class type skipping variables declared within the method as well as anything outside the class type hierarchy so this keyword is only related to the class object current class object okay that this keyword is a way of keeping the search it will search only within the class current class okay keep the search within the class type and skipping variables declared within the method it will skip the variables which are declared inside the method also outside the class type that means this keyword is a way of keeping the search within only the class type calling this dot variable means object dot variable we know right this dot variable means it will point to the current class property or method that means current object for example packet p dot variable is nothing but this dot variable it shall be used only in non static class methods this keyword is only used in the non static class methods it cannot be used in the static methods okay we have discussed why we can't use this uh, this keyword because static class methods static methods only accept the static variables right the the property should be static then only it accept but when we use the this keyword inside the static function what it indicates this means what this means it refers to the current class instance no matter the what type of variable it is okay whether it is a static variable or non static variable it doesn't matter for this keyword this only refers to the current class properties okay whether it is static or non static it refers only to the current class instance current class instance okay so that's why this keyword is only used in the <coughs> non static class methods that means automatic methods or non static methods function static display okay we will use the static keyword right side that means non static methods this keyword resolves the ambiguity of a compiler when class properties and arguments passed to the class methods are same this is why we use this keyword right when the 
uh, when the class properties and arguments passed to the class methods are same then the compiler will get uh, confused so that's why we use the this keyword in order to resolve the ambiguity this is all about this keyword now we will see the example so this is the example for without this keyword okay we have discussed without this keyword what will happen so this is my transaction class i have two properties data and id and in the construction i am assigning the arguments to the current class properties so if i write like this the compiler will doesn't understand okay compiler doesn't understand which one is the class variable it consider this data and id as a class variable only okay so it will not understand right which this is the class variable or this is the class variable that time the ambiguity will happen so in order to resolve this we have to use the this keyword now i will run the code without the this without this keyword okay this is see value of data and id is 00, zero. i'm getting 00, zero. even though if i'm passing 5 and 1 i'm getting 00, zero. now what i will do i will use this keyword So now compiler will understand because this refers to the current class object class members okay current class members what i'm getting data equals to 5 id equals to 1 this is how where the keyword this is used now we will see with static method okay we have seen static inside that static method this keyword is not allowed right but i have used this keyword inside the static function okay this is the static function here i have used data and id i should get the error because inside the static function we can't use the this keyword why we can't because this data and id are inside the class right whatever we write inside the class that will be automatic by default and inside the static function automatic variables are not allowed static methods only allow uh, only accept the static properties or methods right we can't use the non-static variables inside the static function so when we write the this keyword it only refers to the class object class members okay it will not see the whether it is a static or non-static so that's why we will get the error what i'm getting use of this and super is not allowed inside the static class method or class member right so this keyword and super keywords are not allowed inside the static class method so what i can do i can modify it as a non-static method now i have used the static keyword right side okay now you can see i'm getting 5 and 1 right so if i use the static keyword right, right side it becomes the non static function or you can just don't use it and now run because this, now it is a automatic function by default the methods are automatic in class right again i'm getting 5 and 1 so inside the static method this keyword is not allowed okay so this is all about this keyword you will see the super keyword in the next video thank you